we'll begin with a brief history lesson. The first half of the 21st century saw the Australian government sell off all assets, leading to massive budget surpluses, followed quickly by equally massive deficits. In their wisdom, they began nationalising profitable industries. In 2067, it was the sex industry's turn with the formation of the Australian Sex Office. We begin our story two years later as Billy visits his local branch. So she says she's got three of them. Not one, not two, but three. <laughs> hey Terry, have a look at this guy. <laughs> Virgin? Oh, definitely. <laughs> I'll leave you to it. May I help you, sir? Yeah, I was wondering if I could see one of the girls. Well, you'll need to make an appointment first, but uh, for immediate service you can speak to one of our Sexlink telephone operators in the private booths provided. Nah, 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 I want I want face-to-face -face sex. Please? I can assure you the level of service you will get over the phone is just as good as face-to-face. -face. Remember, it's quicker by phone. No, 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 no. I want an appointment. Okay. We'll need to know what type of service you require. What? I can't afford these prices. Do you have a student discount? Unfortunately, we don't, sir. However, we do train community volunteers in basic sexual practices. This is called Sex Help and is free for low-income earners. So here is the list of the services they provide and volunteers in the local area. Cool. Cool. Okay, mate. Thanks. Thanks. Cheers. Billy did visit a sex help volunteer. But the service was not as he expected. And he returned to the Australian sex office to complain. I just saw one of your sex help volunteers and I'm not happy with the so-called service. Which I had to wait over a week to get. Well, that's actually quite quick, sir. Well, if you saw her, you'd probably know why. She must be at least 80. But anyway, I asked for a head job, and she gave me a punch in the head. She thought a head job meant jobbing you in the head. I'm very sorry, sir, but they do only receive basic training and aren't as experienced as our paid contractors, who you can speak to on one of our Sexlink phones. Nah, 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 I want to see someone personally. Okay. Our next available appointment is for 10 minutes at 2.40 or... Oh, will 10 minutes be long enough? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so that was 2.40pm on the 11th of September, 2071. 2071? That's like two years away, man. <laughs> well, I'm very sorry, but... Um, if that's too long, we can get immediate assistance on one of our sex link phones. Uh, okay. Australian Sex Office, this is Jason. I, I want a woman. Certainly, I can help you with that. May I ask you many questions? Sure. What is your SFN? My what? Your sex file number. Oh, uh, uh, yeah. Yeah, I was always told to keep it in my wallet just in case you never know you get lucky. It's 73824469. I'm sorry, Billy. Your account has no credit. I cannot satisfy you. Well, can't I just play by credit card? We only accept cheques. If we accepted credit cards, we would have to charge you more for our 
service. Well, I'm in the Australian sex office now. I could just go out to the reception and, and pay them and we can continue on. They can't accept payment. You'll need to send a cheque to the Australian Government Mail Payment Centre. Allow two weeks, then call back. OK. Is there anything else I can assist you with? Well, obviously not. Thanks. Bye. Now, Billy sent a cheque and allowed the two weeks required before returning to call back. We continue our story near the climax of his call. I'm rubbing oil up along the insides of my soft, silky thighs. Yes. Yes. Oh, almost there. Oh, your sexy voice just makes me feel so horny. Yes. Yes. Just about. I'm sorry, sir, but your credit has expired. Please send a further payment to enable you to continue to enjoy the pleasures of the Australian Sex Office. Thank you for your custom. Billy.